This is Ahmed with Popcornia, and I am joined by Simeon Powell. Simeon, how are you doing? Good, I'm good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So we're here at the PFL Media Day. Now, is this your first Media Day? Um, I've had a few last year, like I had um, when PFL did the Channel 4 deal, and yeah, I've, I've done a few now, so I'm getting used to this environment a bit. Yeah. Now, a lot of the others here, it's their first media day and they're, 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 they're taking it all in, but they're quite like nervous. But you're, this is your environment, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm comfortable and yeah, nothing really phases me, to be fair, yeah. Now, I want to delve more into your inspiration to get into combat sports. So, how did, how did you first enter that world? Um, it came, I've always been interested in boxing and MMA, uh, but like, I was a I was a football player and oh, right. when I was yeah when I got to 16 I think everyone started like kind of drifting off and doing other things and yeah. so I just joined the gym and literally I got good at it and I had a great coach in Chris Foran and he, he made me feel good about myself so yeah credit to him because I'm I'm here today you know I mean yeah so you just went straight into MMA then um well I started kickboxing, kickboxing. Muay Thai um, for about. A year, a year and a half, and then I made the transition to MMA. Yeah. yeah but why? Do, why did you go from kickboxing and Muay Thai to MMA? Um, I once I once I started liking the like once I started really finding like taking it seriously, um, I thought, I, how could I make a career out of it? And I don't think you, it's hard to make a career out of kickboxing. So I thought. No, what, MMA, I'm seeing, and this was the this was about the point where Conor McGregor was on the rise, and, right. and you see Conor McGregor making stupid money. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go to MMA. So yeah. Okay, fair. Now uh, you're fighting on the March card, right? Yeah. You're the main. Uh, I have no idea. No idea. Yeah. I, th I think on the email that said you were main. Yeah. So yeah, I might sure. be. I might be main event. I'll see. See what happens. Yeah. But yeah. Do you, do you hope to be me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, yeah, but don't, don't really bother me, to be fair. Like, I think Dakota is a hell of a fighter and I think the fans are in for the treat. Like, whether I'm co-main or she's main, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it don't really bother me. No, yeah, so there's like, you, you guys know each other? Like, yeah, yeah, no, well, like we, we went to the Misfits boxing event. And oh, like, really? yeah, and so we were, we were, we were, we got to like hang out a bit and yeah, so she, I think she's a cool girl, so yeah. Oh, what did you make of that um, January card for Misfits? Uh, say again, sorry? What did you make of that Misfits card? Oh, like, I think the production of the event was sick and like how they promoted the fighters and everything. Fights were a bit meh, but yeah, no, the, the whole event was pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I was speaking with uh, Dakota about this, but she, she said that she really enjoyed the fights. Yeah, I think, I think, I think some of the fights were sick. Some yeah. of the fights were, were like, they were just, it was just a bit of, a bit of a, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, a bit shitty. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have any um, uh, like highlights, any favorite fighters from that card? Um, us, uh, what's his name? Salt Puppy. Salt Puppy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah no. He went in, he went in. Um, obviously, I think KSI is doing his thing at the moment. Um, yeah, but stick with them too. Yeah, so are you like quite interested in that world, the crossover boxing world? Um, I wouldn't say I'm inch, I like, you know what I mean, I wouldn't say I'm interested, but if the, the like, you know what I mean, if from a business point of view, like, of course like, I'm interested if, like, that uh, opportunity was presented to me, so, I would, yeah, I definitely would take it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it offers, yeah, of course. Great business move, and it would be, it'll, it's just, it's just a way to up your profile and get some more money in the bank. Yeah. I mean, you remembered Soul Puppy's name, so, like, you, you must be uh, somewhere into it. Yeah, no, 100%, like, I've... I thought he was. I thought he was really good. Like, yeah. like the way from the point he walked out, like he just was confident and he entertained. And yeah, and I, I yeah, I fought with. I fought with what I saw. Yeah, no, like he, he was definitely the the people's champion. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, but so you you said you'd be interested in doing it. Like, is boxing something you have like background in or? No, I I've. I would. It was. It was a choice between MMA and uh, kickboxing, and MMA, and boxing, and yeah. I chose. I chose kickboxing to start with. But for sure, boxing's always been a big interest of mine. Like I was a kid watching the Rocky movies, right, and yeah. like shadow boxing, watching those movies. So like, yeah, like I would definitely would. If I, if the opportunity came, I would would love to do a crossover. But yeah, for now, I'm, I'm focused on MMA. Yeah, mate, yeah.
But, but you said you do like that shadow boxing. Like, is yeah. that something you you do like even right, like on a day to day regularly? Oh yeah. Like yeah. when you're heating up your food in a microwave, yeah. punch out one too. Yeah. yeah, that is facts. Literally, like when I'm <laughs> when I'm looking in the fridge, like what to see, what to get. Um, yeah, when I'm in the, when my food's in the microwave, all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. No, 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 I feel I feel I do the same. Is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can't, I can't help it. I was like shadow boxing. Even, I was like shadow boxing my mum. So like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, same, same, same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. no, but, um, yeah, um, so, now PFL. Yeah. Is this a long-term deal that you have with them? Um, I think, well, I, I, contract-wise, I I think I'm with them for a year or two months, Great. two years, and yeah, I'm I'm happy here at the moment. You know what I mean? Like they, they treat me well, and look at the promo they're doing for for us up and coming fighters. So yeah, I have got nothing to complain about. So. Now I saw in your uh, in your pro record you had you fought on maybe around three different promotions, something yeah. like that. Yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So why have you decided to join PFL? I think PFL, obviously PFL have. Um, a big part of their brand is looking after fighters yeah. and paying so paying fighters what they're worth. Um, I think yeah, that for that reason I like I like PFO um, and I can build and grow here. Uh, who knows what the future lies for me? But yeah, PFO for right now in my stage of my career, at this stage of my career, I think it's a it's, it's the perfect place to be. Yeah, of course. And so why why have you made the PFO your like your new home? Like, right. if, assuming you're planning on staying long term. Yeah, um, just yeah, just for the, like the reason I said, like they 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 were paying the most out yeah. of everyone that was coming. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And I saw the potential t- for myself for myself to grow in this company. So yeah, that's why I picked PFL. Really. And do you think PFL is like the place, the premier place any MMA fighter should go to? Um, yeah, obviously there's there's great organisations out there. I'm not going to shit on them, anyone, but yeah, I think PFL are doing doing great things at the moment. So yeah. Now PFL they're launching this new pay per view super fight division, and it's something a lot of MMA fighters have expressed interest in. Some are even leaving the UFC to go into that division. Now is that something you would be interested in joining? What the the pay per view the pay per view the yeah. yeah yeah no 100 percent if I can get my name on one of those cards just more exposure for myself and build my own brand and you know what I mean so yeah we fight is we so it's a risky sport so you've got to take every opportunity that comes you know what I mean so yeah I'll, I'll definitely jump on one of those if I could now you, you spoke a lot about getting your name out there now with the, the rise of like the crossover boxing a lot of celebrities are joining boxing and that sort of made a lot of more boxers and MMA fighters you know push themselves out get a public profile so is that something that you've sort of taken note of yeah no 100% it's, it's, it's really important and um, it's a lot of this it's a side of the game a lot of fighters ignore um, and that's why they don't get certain opportunities but I think I've embraced it quite well and um, yeah I'm kind of now doing all like I've got a so, like socials team and like oh, yeah. you know what I mean so it's like we're, we're, we're building over here so yeah yeah so it's good and you think that's something that every fighter should be doing 100% if well people fight for different reasons but if you're in this to to make a living out of it you have to boost you know what I mean he, you have to get the people excited to see you so yeah you gotta yeah do it. No. Like, I feel like with um, a lot of MMA fighters with a lot of boxers that like, they just go in they just fight and that's it but like I feel like if there's no like character there yeah, yeah. it's not exciting a hundred percent because when you think it's not like we are football players that fight every um, <laughs> like fight uh, uh, they, they do that as well they do sometimes <laughs> um, they like they like there's a match every weekend or whatever or twice yeah. a week you know what I mean so their face is constantly on the TV screen whereas us fighters on average average twice three times a year do you know what I mean so um, what are you doing in in that time between yeah. so it's about keeping people on top of your, your socials and and yeah just just like do you know what I mean embracing the fans and embracing the people that support you that's important the core your core fan base and the core people that support you from day one like they're really going to help also help you elevate yeah. you know what I mean no, of course now are you 
viewer-wise, are you more of an MMA fan or more of a boxing fan, or do you just not really follow? I'm 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 a fan of um, great fights. So like fights that really interest me. Like if like I've got people that I enjoy to watch, but mostly it's 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 the fights that are like like it it will put someone's it will take someone's career to the next level right, yeah. or like those interesting fights that no one really knows who's going to win sort of thing those are like the fights I kind of I'm most interested in but of course I'm, a, I'm an MMA fan that's my job so I watch MMA to study it's my homework do you know what I mean so yeah now are there any upcoming fights in either sport that you're you want to that you're excited for yeah well in boxing um, Javonte Davis and Ryan Garcia like um, like that's going to be interesting to watch I mean they, they, they said for that that uh, I think just yesterday that they're having contract disputes because like they, they were arguing over who gets to do the rematch typical boxing isn't it but yeah like um, MMA wise I would say John uh, the John Jones Hero Gun fight is a big fight coming up um, also like in the PFL the PFL division um, Cyril Gunn uh, not Cyril uh, um, Thiago Santos and um, Rob Wilkinson that's that's interest of the last year champ I think that would be an interesting fight also yeah, yeah. now is there like a, a fight that you want to do like you versus someone is there a, a, a dream opponent for you yeah I would, oh. there's a few like Obviously, on, throw, throw some names out there. I would love to like, like I would love to fight John Jones, like, but he's at heavyweight, so I reckon I don't know if he's still around when I'm I'm there and I'm worthy to be an opponent of his. Then yeah, that would be that would be a huge fight for me. Um, I reckon I don't know if and, and likewise Adesanya if he if he gets older and bigger and he comes up to 205, like yeah, that would, that would be a great fight in the future. Or yeah, man, there's there's a few. Yeah. Now, one of the, I guess, one of the most uh, popular phrases is that uh, the reason why a lot of people prefer MMA is that the fights that should be happening happen. Yeah. But in boxing, a lot of politics and stuff. Is that something you would agree with? Yeah. No. Hundred percent. Like, we get MMA gets more fights when they want, like when the fans want to right. want to see it. Do you know what I mean? Um, boxing, there's a bit more politics and. There's, you know what I mean, conflict between promotions and TV deals and all that. So yeah, I, it's a bit frustrating at times, but yeah, that's what I. Re- but yeah, that's what I'd say better about MMA is that the fans just get to see the fights that they want to see. Now, as the PFL grows, do you think that it's going to really become like the best place that, uh, that that houses the best MMA fights, that has the best fighters on it? You know, like some zone with massive platform. Like, how how do you see the growth going? Um, I think I think PFL PFL are doing a hell of a job of um, promoting, and I think the sky's the limit for this this company. Um, yeah, the, the, like the promo work and and the deals they're pulling up out with like it's crazy so yeah I definitely think they're going to be a huge competitor for 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 the so called one number one promotion in MMA no no that sounds good but do you think you I, I mean obviously you think you're going to win the season right oh 100% I wouldn't I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't put in the effort in training yeah. if I didn't so yeah 100% do you think do you from the people that you n- may or may not know, is there anyone that you think could be competition for you? Um, in my humble opinion, no, because I'm hungry. I'm, I'm like they don't even know what I do for this. You know what I mean, I'm sure they work hard, but I'm in my head, I'm the hardest worker, and no one, no one can compete with me because no one's taken this opportunity away from me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where do you train out of, by the way? I train out GB Top Team at the moment um, down in uh, South West London. Uh, but yeah, obviously I've got I've got a whole team around me like yeah. my striking coach Nick Wilson. I've got my strength coach Rory Lynn, performance. My conditioning coach uh, Sunny. Yeah, the list goes on. But yeah, great big team. And the training's going well then, I see. Ah, uh, camp's going amazing. I'm, I'm already in great shape. Um, Got seven weeks left to just fine tune this engine and I'm ready to go. And are you doing like a lot of like sparring things like that? Yeah, yeah, I spar like two to three times a week. So oh, wow. yeah, yeah, 
I'm just like, yeah, for me it, it works. So, yeah, um, it's great to get my time in. I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting into that rhythm of feeling um, like unstoppable. But right now, like, there's two things, still things to work on, still things to sharpen. Um, but yeah, no, I'm confident I'll be, I'll be in top shape and top. Um, I'll be able to perform like my top ability. Come yeah, March 25th. yeah no, for sure. I mean. Next next time I'm in the area, if you're sparring, I'll drop in, yeah. have a look, see how you're doing. You know, hundred percent, hundred percent, come through. Yeah. But um, any last thoughts for the? Well, any last thoughts before your debut on PFL? Um, no, just I'm excited to be here, and yeah, like PF, just PFL Europe is is just going off. So like, yeah, I'm just tune in, and you're gonna see a first round finish for sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you have a message? either for the viewers or for the, your future opponents or for both before you are seen on the PFL um, just whew, train hard man train hard because I'm coming I'm hungry I'm hungry no one's taking this opportunity from me so yeah train train your ass off now what a message to end on yeah. Simeon Powell great pleasure to meet you nice well. excited for you to see you on your, your debut you. thank you